viewers, um, this morning to, we've come to you with another very interesting topic. We want to talk about marriage. And why do we want to talk about marriage? You could realize that the rate at which divorce is going on is too high, especially among our young ones. Somebody can just marry for six to one year and he or she wants to divorce. Within one year, five years, he or she has become fed up with a marriage already. Yes. You see, to me, I see marriage as a journey. Okay? It's a long journey that you are making and when you are making a, a journey you need to make the patient towards that journey and I see marriage to be the same it's what being Tisika and we're in a town for it's a fact okay so it means that when you met each other you were in love okay were even in a haste to get married and after you've married for one year six months one year two years you are now seeing that two of you are incompatible so therefore you want to get out of the marriage my dear that is not the solution okay Getting out of the marriage is not the solution because you want to marry again and the person that you're going to meet, you may not know that person as well. And one thing that we, have, we want our young ones to understand is that when you are courting or dating, it's a different game altogether. Okay? When you are courting or dating, it's a different game altogether. You all try to play it safe. Okay? But when you get married, that's where the real, I mean, you face reality. Okay? All the hidden characters unveil. All the hidden characters unveil. Because when you are dating, within six months, to one year or two years I mean a lot of things naturally a lot of things may not come out for you to know the real person that you are living with but after you have marriage it means that you have become one you live together you do everything together so that's where you face the real life situation in marriage Please, also, get this, understand this, especially the, the youth, okay? Things that we see on television, it's dramatized, okay? The movies, what we see in our movies, is dramatized, totally dramatized, okay? You'll be seeing... Uh, two lovers moving closely together okay they'll be holding each other they'll be kissing each other they'll be doing all sorts of things that is it's, it's acted let me put it in that way they are all acted okay they are all acted so don't go into marriage with that mentality that maybe how you were dating you want the marriage to also move in the same direction my dear it is impossible you have to be honest with you young ones it is impossible okay maybe the many times he or she was calling you okay the many times 
Maybe you, you want to get closer to him or he wants to get closer to you. When you marry, <laughs> let's say after the honeymoon, uh, things start change. Okay? Things, things start change. But that doesn't mean that the love for each other has reduced. No. It is never like that. Okay? So put this at the back of your mind. That like the telenovela, telenovelas that we watch. Uh huh. That is not a real a, a real life situation. In life, it's acted. Okay? We learn something from, from it though, but it's not a reality. Hmm? So let me give you uh, 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 let's say a scenario. Sometimes when you are even dating and you are working with your guy and there's a gutter, he wants to help you to cross that gutter. He will hold your hands. But after marriage, you see a different person. Huh? Like you see a big gutter, he will jump and wait behind waiting for you to also what cross that uh, gutter and join him and join him that is the real situation in marriage so marrying for one year and you are fed up hey you marry less than five years because of a little misunderstanding you are fed up. My lady, my gentleman, you, you think our mothers, okay, some people have married for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, even 50 years and above. And you think they didn't, they didn't work on their marriage. You think they have things on a silver platter. Things move smoothly. There wasn't any quarrel. There wasn't any misunderstanding. There wasn't anything. No. Okay. So get it. To me, I believe that if your marriage is not easy, okay, just put it because it's like Two of you coming from a different background, you were trained differently, he or she was also trained differently, and coming together living as one, it is not easy, but it's a matter of what? Tol tolerance. Okay? Trying to tolerate each other, loving each other no matter what. But even the Bible says that love covers multitude of sin. Love covers multitude of sin. So if you love the person so much, and he does a little mistake or a mistake, that's a big mistake, you can easily forgive that person because you love the person. And that weakness that that person is having, it is you who can help that person to overcome that weakness. My dear, it is you. You can help your, 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 your husband or your wife to become, to overcome that weakness. But not running away from the marriage. Running away from the marriage is not the solution. It is to never be a good solution. Because you will leave the marriage and go, but you may not know who, who, whom you are going to meet again. So let's also learn to forgive. Normally, when we fail to forgive each other, it leads to a divorce. When, but we, when we are willing to forgive each other, I mean, we can move on, we can move forward. So please. If you are listening, if you are watching this video, let's try to understand each other. Let's try to understand marriage. That 
It's a journey. You hold me, I hold you. Okay? My weakness should be your problem. Should be your problem that you will help me to overcome. Your weakness should be my problem that I will help you to overcome. Okay? So, if you see, the joy in marriage depends on both of you. The joy in marriage depends on both of you. So if you choose that you will let your marriage work, no matter what, it will work. And always state this for me. One has to be a fool. Okay? If two of you, if you are all wise, the marriage will not work. It will not work. Okay? So one has to be a fool to ensure that you are successful in your marriage. That doesn't mean that you should always, because you know that the other party has chose to become the foolish one, you always take advantage. No. Please. Just accept the fact that marriage is a journey. And making a journey, there are a lot of challenges on the way. But thank God that I have somebody with me in this journey. That when I'm falling, this person will hold me until we get to our destination. So please, don't let a little situation separate two of you. Don't let a little misunderstanding, confusion, separate two of you. And sometimes, you know what? Prayers. Prayers. When the situation becomes unbearable, just go before God. And tell God your problem. And God will never put deaf ears to your prayers. Because God believes in union. That's why the Bible says that what has put together, let no one put asunder. So even two of you, two of you. Can put your marriage ascender which God frowned on so please I'm using this opportunity to advise our young ones somebody married for 10 years one young is this how and yes if you be no the challenges will definitely come, okay? But how you handle it, how you handle it, that matters. So if you love each other, and I offend you, what will be the most difficult thing for you for giving me what I've done to you. Okay. By the moment you take a stand, oh, this thing, I will never let it go. It means that you are paving a way for a divorce. You are paving a way for a separation. Okay. And I also think that please sometimes talk about your problems 
okay let each party understand what you really don't like and the things you like and get this for me after knowing what you like and what you dislike that doesn't mean that everybody can play a hundred percent rule therefore no one is going to what offend each other definitely we are living together so i will definitely step on your toes he or she will definitely step on your toes but having the heart to forgive and let go will grow the marriage okay you grow you grow okay so let's avail ourselves let us avail ourselves to help each other in this marriage journey okay let's help each other so please don't marry for one year and say no i'm tired of this marriage i want, I want to get a divorce um, I'm, or two years i'm tired of this marriage i want to get a divorce i'm tired of this marriage if you marry for less than five years you're already tired hey if you marry for five years you have if you marry for one year two years three years and you are tired already who and ask those who have married for 30 or 40 years or even 50 years? Whether in the beginning they had it easy. It's a relationship. Okay? So once you are building it, it grows. Once you are building it, it grows. So let's build our relationship in marriage. Okay. Why you in the no? Like when you you know that this one is your fault, please just accept it and say sorry. Okay. Especially men. Sometimes they, they, they find it difficult to accept their mistakes. We find it difficult to accept it, but because you want peace in your home, okay, as a woman, because you want peace in your home, sometimes you have to what let it go. Then you find a nice time and a nice way to talk to your man what he did that you didn't like. But please, divorce is not the solution. You had a very beautiful wedding. People came to embrace your wedding. And within a year or two, you want to get out of it. Because of frustration. Because of a little misunderstanding. No. Okay. Just stand firm. And believe in yourself that even if no one's marriage will work yours will work with the grace of God if no one's marriage is going to be successful yours is going to be successful because of the grace of God okay so that in your old age you can use your experience to advise your children okay so that they'll also learn from it and also get this from me don't just marry because people are married so you also want to marry so anybody at all so anybody at all you want to get married no Don't, no, please marry with love. Marry with love. A friend of mine advised me 
We are talking about who should marry, who we, whom we should marry to. And the first thing that he told me was that don't marry to somebody that when you are going out with you will feel shy. Okay, yes. Don't marry to that person. Because definitely you'll be going out. So if I, I feel uncomfortable to go out with you, then I marry to you. I mean, the marriage, the marriage will not last. The marriage will not last. Because you didn't marry with love. Okay? You didn't marry with love. Maybe the person was having money, so you, you, you fall for that money. And out of the money that the person is having, you, I mean, you, 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 you pretended as if you love the person. You are in your heart. It's the money that you have. If you go into such a marriage, my dear, it won't last. Because the money will get finished. When the money gets finished, what, what will happen? You also get out of the marriage. Because you went in because of the money. Not because you love the person. But if you, if you went in with love, and if in the money that the person is having has finished, two of you will put your heads together as to how you will what you live. How you fend for yourself. So please, don't marry for marrying sake. The young ones, you look at the guy, oh, this guy is nice. You don't have any passion or affection for the person. But because the person is looking at us, the person is coming from a rich home. This person is, 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 is well to do. He already ha he has built his house already. I mean, he's able to give me enough money to do this, to do that. So when the money gets finished, oh, you run away from the marriage. And your marriage will be added to the record, their divorce records. So please, don't go into such a marriage. And go into marriage within one year, two years. You said you are fed up with the marriage, so you are getting out of it. No. So if, I, if you are already in it, you have already made the mistake already, please, getting out is not the solution. Learn to love each other. Love grows. So learn to love each other. Learn to appreciate each other, my dear. Learn to accept each other the way he or she is. Learn to do that. Okay? and ask God's grace to live together as couples and I can assure you your marriage can be counted among the best okay your marriage can be counted among the best and that one depends on you that one depends on you we all have to work on our marriage Okay, the challenges it will come but let's ask the grace from God to be able to face any challenge and overcome it and move together as couples thank you for watching Biamati please subscribe for me bye bye